Today let's talk about oocyte cryopreservation. In simple terms it is called egg freezing. So when is it done? Most commonly it is done in two conditions. One is medical condition that is if a woman has any type of cancer and she is going to undertake any toxic chemotherapy. In that case before undergoing the chemotherapy she may wish to freeze her eggs. So these chemotherapeutic drugs are toxic to the ovary and the oocyte hence freezing the eggs prior to chemo is a option the other one is social egg freezing in women who want to postpone their childbearing due to career or delayed marriage in such cases they may opt to undergo social egg freezing so how is it done women is administered injections for about 10 days and the eggs are picked up from her ovary under anesthesia and they are frozen to temperatures below zero and to be thawed at a later date. So what is the risk? So this is considered a low risk procedure. Anesthesia will, give, will be given and the time of the procedure is less than half an hour generally. So it is a low risk procedure and in 5% of the cases they can have some of the complications like OHSS. So what is the success rate? Back then the success rate per oocyte was 2 to 12 percent. One oocyte resulting in live birth was around 2 to 12 percent. Now recently the studies published show that the survival of an oocyte post uh, thawing is nearly 80 percent. So if a woman has frozen her eggs less than 35, uh, 38 years of age and more than 20 good oocytes, M2 oocytes are frozen then the uh, pregnancy rate per transfer is close to 50%. So final live birth rate is more than 50% if these conditions are met. Thank you.